Thank you, Dr. Mislah. Uh, our next speaker is uh, Dr. Tawfiq Rabia. Uh, Dr. Rabia is the Director General for the Saudi Industrial Property Authority, Mudun. Uh, uh, prior to that, uh, Dr. Rabia was uh, a number of things, but he was also uh, with the SAGIA, he was responsible there for the, uh, the, uh, the uh, information and communication technology sector. Uh, by training, uh, Dr. Rabia is a computer scientist, and uh, we're happy to have him. <laughs> Uh, I am really honored to be with you today. Uh, first, uh, I'm going to talk about the Saudi economy and give you a brief introduction about uh, the growth of Saudi economy. Then uh, I'll give uh, a brief uh, information about the national industrial strategy that is being uh, uh, developed and uh, supervised by the Ministry of Commerce and uh, Industry. And after that, I'll talk about uh, MUDUN, which is a government organization in charge of the development of states all over the kingdom. Uh, as some of my colleagues uh, gave a, a brief uh, information about the Saudi economy, which is part of the G20, and uh, it represents 25% of the whole Arab GDP. It's the largest economy in the MENA region. Uh, 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 the government of Saudi Arabia is uh, seeing the manufacturing sector as a way to diversify the economy. And the vision of the national industrial st strategy is to take the manufacturing sector to a different level, which focuses on the knowledge-based uh, economy and uh, 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 develop it to be a, a sustainable part of, of the economy. The target is to uh, increase the contribution of uh, the manufacturing sector from 13% of the GDP as it, of, as it uh, as is it's now to 20% of the GDP by 2020. Uh, so as you see the, the, the target here, we, have, uh, we are currently at the 13% and by 2020, we want to be in the range of 20%, uh, which is close to uh, Germany and Japan. Uh, to, uh, to achieve, uh, the, the purpose of achieving this target is to improve uh, and create jobs for Saudis and uh, to increase uh, the uh, amount of exports of locally manufactured products abroad, and to uh, create uh, more uh, value-added jobs to the economy. Uh, to achieve this target, we have identified different uh, uh, targets or eight different axes uh, that focus on different things. Uh, we are going to work on improving the uh, business environment uh, also to uh, develop the SMEs uh, within the economy, uh, also uh, to uh, uh, provide the right human resources uh, needed for these uh, different projects, and uh, uh, most importantly is to provide the right infrastructure for these projects, as what some of my colleagues also uh, elaborated on. on. And uh, then we also uh, work at Mudun. Mudun, as I mentioned, it's a government agency uh, that was established uh, in 2001. It took over uh, the existing uh, industrial states, or as we call them, industrial cities, at that time uh, to move on on a faster pace uh, to provide industrial uh, lands for manufacturing companies with the right uh, uh, infrastructure. Uh, so uh, it, uh, it basically focuses on midstream and downstream industries all over the kingdom. Uh, so just to distinguish between the role of Modern and the Royal Commission, the Royal Commission focuses on the upstream, the basic industries, and uh, they are located in, in Jubail, Yambo, and uh, Ras al Khair, uh, whereas Modern, it goes to the downstream, and uh, it's located in different uh, sites. We have almost 30 sites all over the, king the kingdom. 
Currently, we have uh, about uh, uh, an area of 75 million uh, meters, 75 million square meters developed, and uh, 34.5 uh, uh, million uh, out of these 75 were developed in the last three years. So that shows that we have huge development going on. We have about 300,000 people working uh, in the manufacturing companies in these different uh, uh, industrial states, and we have about 3,000 uh, factories. Uh, the growth that we are uh, seeing, uh, uh, as you see, from 1967 to about 2007, we have about 40 million square meters developed. And from 2007 to 2015, we plan to have uh, uh, an addition of 110 million square meters developed. That basically almost will quadruple uh, the uh, area of industrial uh, uh, states available for uh, manufacturing companies. In terms of uh, uh, incentives that are given to manufacturing companies, we have different incentives uh, that uh, had uh, played a major role to uh, promote uh, manufacturing uh, and uh, bring many different investments from abroad. Uh, the first thing, we provide land for about like uh, one Saudi riyals per square meter per year, which is almost equivalent to 25 cents per square meter per, square meter per year. We also provide electricity at the rate of four cents per kilowatt, which is almost one third of what's being charged here in the US. Uh, we also give custom exemptions on important, uh, imported uh, equipment, machinery, and raw materials. And uh, we also give uh, uh, financing uh, up to 75% of the equity needed uh, for uh, manufacturing projects. We have uh, many different uh, clients in our industrial states. These are some of the companies that started to be small companies and then they grow until they became publicly traded companies. And also we have uh, many uh, international names in our uh, industrial states coming from all over uh, the world, including many different companies from the US. As I mentioned, we have many different sites. Uh, in different places of the kingdom. Almost in every region in the kingdom, we have uh, an industrial state. Uh, we have here 19 different locations. And also, we have uh, this is some of the pictures of our industrial states. Uh, we have nine industrial states under, de under development in different places of the kingdom. Uh, these are some pictures of the development. Uh, also, we have uh, four big cities uh, uh, under planning, uh, 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 one in Jeddah, the one on the uh, uh, eastern coast, uh, in Al-Baha region, and uh, a military uh, industrial complex uh, in cooperation with the Ministry of T Defense. These uh, uh, some of the statistics uh, that we have, as I mentioned, we have 19 cities uh, uh, that is up and running. We have nine under development, four under planning. We have 3,000 uh, factories in our industrial states, which almost, almost more than 50% of manufacturing companies in Saudi Arabia. And we have about 300,000 people working in these industrial states. Uh, one of the targets that we want to develop in our, in our industrial states is to have a proper logistic services uh, uh, to uh, support our manufacturing companies. So we're trying to attract and have uh, three, uh, uh, three third-party logistic companies. And we, got, we have signed with diff many different uh, logistic companies for that purpose. Also, we're building a container terminals that will be connected with the dry ports that we'll uh, have in some of our industrial states that are connected with the rail network that is being constructed in the kingdom. We uh, always try to use uh, the proper international standards in our infra infrastructure to ensure that we have sustainable and provide the right quality for our tenants. Our tenants. These are some of the drawings of the, of the some projects uh, that we are working on for the new cities. These, the, we are going to invest in the next uh, probably four years, uh, more than three billion US dollars on, the, uh, on, on building the right infrastructure. These are direct investment by us. Also, we have BOT projects with the private sector to develop many different services in the water field, 
uh, also in building uh, housing for our tenants, uh, which will uh, be around uh, another two billion US dollars. Thank you very much.